Hello, and welcome to Crusader Kings 2 Holy Fury with the Empire of Germany and the foe of the British Empire. Speaking of which, I want half of you here, half of you here. These 7,000 people, actually those are the 7,000 I was looking at. 11,000, sure. 9,000, go on the ships and we can land here. Move. Worry not. It's gonna take some time before we get all the people we want. Seems like a lot of people want to join this crusade. I have nothing against that. As long as you do your duty and defend my kingdom. Oh, by the way, I want to make you a commander because honestly, you're not good at anything. Let's see, your name is... Frederick, and your skills is 6. If you get Valhalla Bound, it's gonna give you plus 2, and that's a little bit better. Let's see, commanders, we don't have a court physician. You do. Hmm. There he is, six, and you're gonna lead that army. But only for a second. There you go, see? Now that's better. 9,000 men, land them here. You want them to marry matrilineally. Very well. Heresies appeared in our kingdom. This is unacceptable. Okay, is that... 280, but I can see it's a little bit more than that. We captured someone. This guy. We can ransom him. We can ransom this one as well. Now, before we do anything, I want to see if those girls that are still kind of important... Yep, there they are. So what's the point of even having you? If you're just gonna randomly disappear every time. Okay, and that's 280 ships. You go this way and you go here as well. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. You have the boats we need, go here. You land here. And you go right over here. Then I'm gonna have 5,000 men visiting this place. The target of our crusade, sure, the barony of Northampton has finally fallen to our mighty armies and the wrath of Orden. Victory is ours because it's a crusade, because we don't have a word for a beacon conquest. Oh wait, we still have the word conquest, so I have no idea. Okay, you can assault that and this. Then go here. As you are out hunting one afternoon, a bearded elder approaches, donning a simple traveler's cloak and wide-brimmed hat that conceals his other eye. He greets you with courtesy and requests a horn of meat, and then informs you that just yonder a well lies, a forgotten filled with gold. He wanders off chuckling as he goes, leaving you struck with familiarity of his presence. 
It is Odin, yes. We are during a crusade and this event just pops out. It definitely is Odin. We've captured something. Wash. 14%. Wow, look at how many people there are. They are somehow losing battles. That's not the important part. This Italian girl. We can become better rivals. Do I have any rivals? Yes. Well, I need to kill you at some point. Listen, I have no idea who you are. Just leave me be. Okay, four people for ready weight gold. Am I losing money? Yes. Don't know why. This is ours. Take that. I can assault you. Let's see, how is it gonna go? Oh, that was quick. You move over there. I have a feeling that this society is a little bit too powerful. Go home, the French Re Liberation Revolt has declared the third liberation of France. On me. Bloody Christians. Go over here. Really? York doesn't have enough supplies for 14,000 troops? Wait, really? To the pretty daughter of Odin, Amelia. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We surrender under these terms. Viceroy Adolf, who gains all the holdings owned by King Uldric of England in the Kingdom of England. Um, Adolf? Why Adolf? No, seriously, why, why Adolf? It doesn't matter, just to give him land. Viceroy Adolf the Weak has deserved the title Kingdom of England from King Urat of Wessex. The Germanic Great Holy War for England has ended. Hokir Amelia has won. Successful Great Holy War, praise Frey. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. So, Saxony now controls all of England. Isn't that something? Everyone, over here. Oh, the boats go here and stand down. Still doesn't want to give me this. It honestly doesn't matter that much. You go and kill them. And I'm gonna have you. Actually, you've done your part. You can actually stop being a commander. We need a better seer, someone who can convert my land a little bit faster. And who will join my court? 
20, this bohemian guy or this German fella? I say let's go with the bohemian guy. She's pregnant, so she missed the, the great holy war. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary, trust me. Cornwall. There's a lot of holy wars we can... Win. Okay, what's going on? We are winning. Good. I guess they didn't have the time to... I was gonna say they didn't have the time to reinforce themselves. This campaign has been easy picking. Swinging my spear over the plains is a pleasure. And my fellow soldiers are equally jovial, surrounded by the blood of the French enemies and the cries of battle. Look, the enemy commander is hiding. Should I duel him? Yeah, sure. Just kill him. Craven. He's French. Of course I like killing French people. It's basically them, the English. And should I say the Spanish? I mean, they are the Umayyads. The Bedouins. Okay, Bedouins, that works. Can I declare war on you? Yes. Not a great holy war per se, but I can still declare some great holy wars, uh, some holy wars for you. That's a lot of land you have here. And not so much land here. Were you the king of England? No, you're a different guy. Holy War for Cromwell. We're waiting. We have a hundred prisoners, so I can kill them all with a single click of my button. Okay, that's a lot of prisoners we actually need to get rid of. And yes, we do need to get rid of them. Just make sure you don't do something very, very stupid. that all? Yeah, that's all. The Holy War for Cromwell. I am pleased to report the success in the mission of Burke. Really? Good work. I mean, I did invite someone that would do a better job, but since you actually accomplished your mission, I'm just gonna hire him as a court physician. He's 56. Yeah, he probably is gonna die soon. Ancient Rusty Sword. 25%. 44, did we capture anyone? I don't know. Maybe. Ransom someone. Ooh, there is an illness somewhere close to my capital. In my capital. Should I? You know, we could end the war.
you know, just shut it down. Ninety-nine percent. Can I run some someone? There we go, 100%. My religion, my culture, and also my dynasty, that's the only thing I care about. Guy chief, okay, this guy's a ruler. You can get some land, Devon. And Cornwell. Okay, next. live with England alone actually I mean I can live it to this guy he's from Saxony he's gonna take care of the Englishman can I declare war on you no thing is we're doing fine how about the popesy the only other religion I actually need to declare war on for stuff like Ferrara or Ancron, or maybe Spoleto. Actually, I think Spoleto is going to be the best bet. It's two countries. And the rest we'll have to think about. Okay, go here. Open course of position for a steward. Okay. You can lead the men and get some taxes from here. Seriously? It wasn't even a month before our food ran out. After finishing a healthy breakfast, you pledge constantly and remark upon your foresightness in ensuring Brandenburg's leaders were well stocked. However, as soon as your words leave your lips, you notice the suddenly panicked looks on your servant's face. My Falkia, you just ate the very last pickled boar's head, and almost all of our other food stocks are nearing exhaustion. Furthermore, your servant continues to drone on, but you are too aghast to listen. No more pickled boar's heads. This isn't good. What kind of disease is this, by the way? Slowpox. You have cancer. It has nothing to do with slowpox. Great, great. This guy has smallpox and it's minus three health. Oh, that's not good. Interesting. Anyway, let's continue on. There is a new holy war brewing here. Conquest of Gwent. We could liberate Scotland if we want.
Hmm. Go here then. What? You want to be my lover? No. I want you to convert. You have searched Brandenburg from top to bottom and have come to realize that there really is no more pickled boar's head. Not only that, but other food stocks are nearing exhaustion. Your servants really should have mentioned that. We have the most advanced hospital in the world. If we are lucky, the disease won't spread to our kingdom, to our castle, should I say. If not, well, then that's bad. Okay, who is the most powerful leader we have? No one. All three of you are touched by Valhalla. No, Valhalla's boned. Whatever. Go back, I think this is gonna end. Oh, for the... Disaster. Brandenburg's rats have managed to find our meager remaining supply and have eaten much of what remained. With food supplies dwindling, it has come to your attention that the basement of Brandenburg contains a large number of rats. We can eat them. Yummy. How many people do I have in my court? 140. Most of them are prisoners. Okay, let's declare the Holy War for you. You became an Anglo-Saxon and a Christian. Can we ransom you? We really don't need you in our castle. Okay, Adolf, I have a question for you. He's a leper, lunatic, possessed, and has grey pox. As your troop ransacked the castle, they uncovered an interesting relic. A scepter, you say? With jewels on it. 99% would you surrender? No, we want to struggle a little bit long. There we go. Sign 9%, let's make it a hundred. Okay, next. What about this attractive girl? She's regularly married, so no. You're 47, you're never gonna have children. Duchy of Franconia, that's that's a very strong duchy. The Chief of Prague. Duchess of Holt. Marshal of Baden. Damn it. 
How about someone who is not married? This guy, 16 years old, he doesn't like me, heir to the barony of something. Okay, you're gonna be the one. Or you would be, but you're not part of my realm apparently. That's interesting. Seer of Galidia. Whatever, as long as you have children. Why don't you have a bloodline? Don't know the name of the other one. Anglesey. There you go. So, from all the castles Bellasis you could have chosen, you went with Conquest of Gwent. Is that Gwent here? Yes. Oh, that's nice. How long before your truce has ended? Oh! Seems like someone is def definitely gonna kill you. Viceroy Anarot of Burgundy versus Duke Charles the Cruel. Conquest of Dunovs. It honestly wouldn't matter. That's the only castle he has right now. So, Byzantines, how are you doing? 31, I'm 31 as well. And you're 27. Marauder's Blood. Of Beatrix Kessler. The Blood of Attila. Hmm. Okay, what next? Let's say we want this touch here. I know not this one, this one. Ah, you have this one as well. Well, we are securing the silent right here. Are these though the commanders we have? Need to find someone better. Yeah, keep doing that, Byzantines. As soon as Kalacha stands, you're running to your cheeks on your food supplies. You arrive at the storm room. Just in time to see Gur emerge, lapping at his mouth. Well, let's eat him. Not gonna give me the cannibal trade, but I can live with that. Personal combat skill goes up for some reason. Yes, he was devoured. He wasn't that good of a commander anyway. That's six.
Still trying to take over all of England. I don't have a child yet. And I'm 31. None of you will do, unfortunate. Castle walls have been built. Excellent. That's all we can have. It is hard to feel proud when one has nothing to be proud of. Why should I be proud of myself? I don't know, because you didn't eat rats? Actually, you did eat rats. That should have taken away the... Never mind. Truces are expiring against this guy. Okay. Thirty-nine percent. Not bad at all. All right, we're just gonna wait. Hundred and fifty prisoners, oh my lord. We need to release so many of them. Or maybe banish some. Where do you keep coming from? Don't even have enough money. Just keep them there for now. Oh, uh, speaking of which, do you have anything to convert? There's this northern territory right here, of Dao. Oh look, another one to eat. She was devoured. She had ignored. I hope I don't develop some kind of condition for eating someone sick. Usurped the city from this guy. Oh, I see. We definitely need to have a little bit more light infantry, just to keep the balance a little bit more intact. Speaking of which... We're waiting for that Majesty score. Oh, did you surrender? Good. Hmm. Technically, we can declare holy war on you. Okay, stand down and move over here. I need to give this away as well, so... You gain more land. I'll gain prestige from marrying my own son. Yeah, that, that makes sense. No, that's not what I want. Go there. There you go. And defend. Wonderful. I need to declare war on you for the last duchy you have as well. Anjur. 
That's those two and nothing else. And you don't have a lot of men. Just want to take a look at this. So Burgundy has land here, you have land here, which means we can raise 20,000 troops in no time. Just out of curiosity, can I declare on you something? Holy War for this? Sure. Conquest Wars. And you have this and this. Hmm. Alright, alright. Let's start with you first. You go over there. And you go and help. Oh no, wait here. How's the epidemic looking? It's not that great. It's the first major epidemic we actually had in my capital. But I'm gonna survive it. I'm gonna eat people. Ooh, 200 gold. Definitely banishing you. A thousand gold. Well, it was nice knowing that you existed. 100 gold. Hundred and thirty three prisoners. I have to do something about them. I can't banish them all. I'll think about it. Oh, for the love of. Good, you converted someone. And we captured more people because we didn't have nearly enough. Prokop may not be the most attractive man I've ever laid eyes upon, but he's here and the whole situation is growing increasingly boring. Considering my options, it may not be a bad way to spend the time. Yes. He is a Christian, who cares? By the way, she did live to her name, the Sword of the Thunderer. What do you want? Fine, we're backing your plot. Just don't get caught, okay? Okay, we also have this one to take care of. Prince of Denmark. Well, let's hope you're not going to inherit anything. You can have Anjan and Saumur. Hmm. 
You know, stay there. Should have given you a different kingdom. Do you really want to fight me there? Go there. You, retreat. It's fine. We lost 800 men. <laughs> now what are you gonna do? After spending lots of time with few people, you have been positively surprised by Maria. During this difficult time, you have gotten to know and understand her well, in many ways. She compliments you nicely, and you have a good time together. Okay, you're a nun. If you convert... Does that mean that you're no longer gonna be a nun? Yes. Hundred and sixty men. Huh. I've seen armies with less men. Look at that, we captured so many people. Coding is ours. Good work everyone. Right, so that episode was holy. If I can say so myself, I can declare war on the Pope next time, maybe. Let's see. No, you're still alive. What about the human yards? 46 in two years. I'm sorry. Those two will become my vassals. Okay. Interesting and kind of weird, in fact, but it doesn't matter. There was one more place where I had a castle, but uh, they had a holding. There it is. You actually serve Africa. It's fine. We're gonna find a way to take you down as well. I have a question, Holy Roman Emperor. How many... Yeah, you have only this. I'm surprised that the Byzantines haven't taken you over yet. Anyway, so... I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you all for joining me and I'm gonna see you all next time. Goodbye.